Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna show you a funny, powerful, and painful build. In this build, we're only using one ability, the Whirlwind. And this ability definitely has the potential to deal a ton of damage. If we choose the Rising Winds upgrade, it says you got a 15% damage bonus per rotation. Just imagine what it'd be like if we can keep this up for a long period of time, like 10 minutes. Sure, it's gonna do a massive amount of damage. And that's what we're gonna do today. Normally, when you're using Whirlwind, you just change your stamina constantly until it runs out. But we can definitely do a few things to make it last a bit longer. First, we need the Amulet of Renewal, which gives the wearer a higher stamina regeneration rate. Second, you're gonna need a passive ability, Deep Reserves, from the Battle Master Tree. It gives you another 50% regeneration rate when your stamina is below 50%. With this too, you can keep spinning much longer than it should. But in order to keep it up for ages, there's still one thing we need. Fate Touch Royal Cecil. Your ability causes 20% less stamina if not being hit for 5 seconds. So you either recover your stamina by hitting the enemies, or lower the stamina cost when you're not being hit, and both will be fine. With these three puzzles, it's gonna look like this. Two thousand years. But when we're doing that, we still need to watch out for ourselves. Because some mobs can stun you, knock you down, or just block you outright. We don't want that to happen. So this is when our squad mates kick in. You better need a tank to draw the aggro for you. You don't want the mobs to focus on you which they probably would, since you're dealing the highest damage on the battlefield. Then you're gonna need elusive. This is so important. When you have at least one layer of elusive, you're immune to damage, which also prevents you from being knocked down. I suggest bringing Varric into your team. Take the Toxic Cloud and change the upgrade to Lost in the Mist and set it to Preferred. You will spam it again and again. When you run out of elusive, just stay in the Toxic Cloud for a few seconds and you got your guardian back. And this build doesn't require a lot of ability points. You can still do it even if you are on a lower level. Just take the whirlwind and deep reserves. If you have more points to spare, just spend them wherever you want. This could work for all specializations, even with no specialization. For weapons, I always use the chromatic quicksword for my two-handed warrior. The extra elemental damage just outmatches any two-handed weapons. Unfortunately, you can only acquire this weapon schematic in the Trespasser DLC. You can't get your hands on it if you're on your first playthrough. But you can use other weapons like the Axe of Dragon Hunter, which is still overpowered for this spell. Superior Prowler Armor schematic can give you the best armor in the game, not only for rogues, but for all classes. For non roll classes, put Snuffler skin in the main slot and use Craggy skins in the utility slots for the counting points. Since critical chance in this game is so important, do the same thing for the arms and legs. You got yourself 40 plus cunning points in your armor. That equals 20% critical chance. Then I put in an explosion on kill masterwork. When your whirlwind is dealing massive damage, the explosion damage will scale to your base damage. That's enough to take out all the enemies nearby. Sigil of the Great Bear seems to hold back the stamina regeneration rate, but it doesn't. Instead, it definitely helps with the larger stamina pool. Then you'll need the amulet of renewal, ring of slicing, or ring of critical chance. Let's do some killing. Here's the plan. I'll start from here and spin my way to the boss. In the meantime, I'll try not to get interrupted. I'll just fast forward a bit. It's so painful with the slow moving. Before the fight begins, make sure to let your squad mates charge first. If the enemies are targeting you, you're done. At this point, you can almost one-hit kill everything. After destroying the last wave of enemy, we're getting to the boss. Let's see what's gonna happen. Face me and die, Inquisitor! I am the cold blood! Of of no no stand against me! You shall fall as well! Yeah, it's, it's definitely overpowered. 
Just when I thought everything would be okay, then something happened. After I kept spinning for about 30 minutes, the game just gets more and more laggy. The frame rate just dropped down to 10, 20 FPS, which is totally unplayable for me. I was just thinking about letting the whirlwind stay overnight and dealing 1 million damage per hit in the morning. What a shame, I just had to let that go. And you have it, the most powerful and painful warrior bell. Feel free to give it a try and destroy everything. I'm sure it'll be fun. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button or subscribe to my channel for more Dragon Age builds. Thanks for watching.